Greetings. So, you are watching this video because you want to insert a picture in AutoCAD and you don't know how. Well, we have two main ways to insert a picture. One with external reference and the other without the external reference. So, let's get to it. This video will not be very edited because I want you to see all the steps that you might face when you are trying to insert a picture. So, let me copy this, so we get our reference, uh, this is what we want to get at the end. So with the external reference, the main function that you are going to use will be attach, this button right here. So, in case you don't understand. This will be our function. So we press the button. We find the picture that we want to insert. In my case, will be this one. We don't need to set the scale right now. We can modify it later. So for now, we just press OK and place it where you want it to be placed. And you see that it's asking for a scale. Our natural scale our standard scale is 1. We can go with 1, so we go enter and it is placed. And we shall move it right here. Of course we can scale it with the command scale. I'll go right here. So scale ask us for a base point in my case will be this year and we can we can just go with the eye and see how big we want it to be or we can multiply the, the current scale our current scale is one so we can go with four or five let's go five and this is what it looks with the scale of five good good now we have the external reference one and now let's go and do the one without the external reference so to do that we want to go and search our picture and open it with paint so i'll open paint here i'll open my picture now it's opened in paint What I want to do next is select the entire picture. So I just go and select it all from this button. And we're gonna copy it. So press on copy. Return to AutoCAD. And the command that we are going to use is called paste spec. We are going to use the paste and paintbrush picture. And we are going to press OK. A second to load. And boom, we dropped it. So, the, our command is paste spec. Uh, I'll, I just write them on top for uh, easier access so you can see them better. And so, this is our picture that we inserted without external reference. As in the first example, we can scale it. And to do that, we can go just like this. Scale, pick our first, first corner, and the other one was done with a scale of 5, so we are going to go with the same scale, so 5. As you can see, it's smaller than our original picture. Well, because the picture in uh, paint was already scaled down by me to be clear so this is a scale of five this is a scale that we don't know but we want them to be scaled at the same level so what can we do well we'll of course can draw a line from 
here to here move the line here to here and we can measure it and we can measure another line from here to here and we can scale scale them accordingly or we can use another function called a line so we are just going to drop this here a line good good so if i go align uh, it asks me to select the object that i want to align so it's our smaller picture i select it i go i press enter so the align object as the name implies will align a part of an object with another part of another object so we press on our first corner and we align it with our second corner and we also need to align the left bottom corner with the right bottom corner of the second picture. So we click on the first corner, we click on the second corner and we, and we press enter. So after we press enter, it will ask me if I want to scale the entire image and I will go with yes. And now our our images are the same size and I can just move it a little bit to the right. So here we have it. We have an image inserted with the reference and an image inserted without the reference. Now we might wonder why this is on a black background and this is on a white background. Because, and this is important, our first picture didn't have a background it was a background less picture so that's why it's black this is white because we took it from paint if this would have a background the background would be the background of the picture i hope this makes sense and now if you're wondering why you need the picture without reference is because if you want to send this AutoCAD to someone else this picture will not appear will be only a rectangle with with nothing in it or if you somehow by mistake of course delete your picture again here will be nothing but this without the reference will stay if even if you delete the original picture or even if you delete or even if you send it to someone without the external reference so you might wonder why you don't always use the one without the reference because if you are going to zoom on both pictures the first one will have a better quality overall so this concludes our tutorial if you watch till the end you should know how to use the attach scale align and of course the most important function paste spec and before I end this video, I just wanna add something that I forgot to mention at the beginning. Because this one, the first one from the left, is a picture and the other one is just a crop from paint. You can edit the first one directly in AutoCAD, but the second you need to edit it in paint. What do I wanna say? If I want to edit the right one and I double click on it, it will open the paint with my picture in it and I can do everything I need to do here and just, as I said before, select everything and copy it back in the soft and I delete the original one. But if I want to modify the first picture, the one without background, I can just double click on the edge and I'll get all the properties that I need to. Let's say I want to modify the brightness. I just go on the top left corner and let's say I want it to be 100. <laughs> Maybe a little too much back let's say 40 and it, it's a darker 
let's say let's say 20 even darker or the contrast let's say I want it to be 65 and I can easily modify it right from here without needing to reattach the entire picture so again I hope that you find this video useful if you did enjoy it or you think you got value for your time I would appreciate a like and stick around for more tips because I have I think four more videos that I'm working at the moment I'm, I'm thinking on it four or five we'll see but till next time thank you for watching